Welcome back to Ricky Does It, where today I'll be making Boba Fett out of construction paper. So I've been meaning to make this video for a while now. I had some trouble getting the funds together for my editing software last year, so when I eventually swallowed my pride and put the call out for donations, a handful of friends came through, the first of whom was my buddy Schultzman. So when I asked him who he'd like to see me make as a kind of thank you, he said Boba Fett. So here we are. Now his armor. And this here is the one part of his costume everyone seems to agree on, because man was it hard to find reference images that didn't just contradict the other images. I even went through an every Boba Fett scene supercut on YouTube, but you never really get a good look at his whole costume in the movies. So let's get his head on his body, and figure out his arms. And now these gauntlets. I decided to go with the Jedi Red, just because it's a bit more striking than the green in Empire. As for their shapes, that was the hardest to make heads or tails out of. The best I could tell is that one holds either a tiny missile or a novelty sized pen, and the other one's clearly a super soaker. And now his hands. And his codpiece, which is a word I never thought I'd say in a video. And now I guess his cummerbund? And his belt of many pockets that his mother made for him. Oh yeah, can't forget those saddlebags. Now let's get these cargo pants figured out. I was going to do each leg in two pieces, but I think this totally works. Now these knee pads were a bit tricky, but I think they ended up looking halfway decent. And now his shoes. And shoulder armor. And now the little touches. First is antenna, and I'm going to add a strip of cardboard for support. And the hose for his super soaker. And this tiny missile, I'm going to do in three separate parts, just because it's easier than trying to cut out the tiny precise shapes. And I was just going to color in the dark parts of his shoes, but why not cut them out? Now you know we here at Ricky Does It appreciate a nice jaunty cape, so let's set him up with that. And let's get to work on that iconic mug. I'm going to outline the entire head, then trace out the red T from there, folding in half before I cut so it's nice and symmetrical. Now the darker green contour, which reminds me, I would love to make Trixie Mattel someday. So let's piece all that together. And now the black visor, I'm going to do in two parts. First the horizontal, which I'm also going to fold in half to cut, and the vertical is just going to be a black slab. And I think that needs to be a bit wider. Now I'm going to do this chest decal separately with blue pencil and white ink. While that dries, I'm going to do my favorite part of his costume. These weaves snatched from the scalps of his enemies. Now I'm going to add a little bit of red to this logo. So okay, I ended up smudging the ink, so good thing I drew it separately. Let's get that glued on. And these braids. And finally, these little yellow accents for his helmet. And now we draw. I'm just going to lay out everything real quick. And if you're enjoying this video, why not share it with your friends and loved ones? That would really help me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe for all future videos. And who knows, maybe one of them will be something you've suggested. And now we color. I'm just going to go back and forth with crayons and colored pencils, using darker shades of each color just to give everything some nice dimension. 
So if you're a Boba Fett purist, you may have noticed I left off his shin pockets full of combs and spatulas. There was just a lot going on with this project, and I had to make an executive decision to preserve my sanity somehow. Also, there's shin pockets. So let's give his helmet a little depth. And now we ink. You may notice I'm going back and forth between two pens. One's a bit finer than the other and has less potential for making a mess. But I do like using the thicker pen to make more general outlines. Really just whatever feels right for each section. So let's get that helmet. And then hit everything up with some white highlights. And there he is, our Boba Fett. Now I have to admit, this was a lot of work. But in the end, I think I did Schultzman proud. So if there's anyone else you'd like to see me make, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out some of my other videos. And make sure you subscribe for all future videos. And why not follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at RickyDoesIt. That's R-I-C-K-E-Y Does It. See you soon.